starts with the initial consultation with the customer. After a bike fit, I can translate all that data onto a bike care drawing so that we can make the perfect frame for them. Now the first thing then is to select the tubes. The jig is then set up and then the, um, the tubes are mitered and the frame is built in the jig. With titanium it's very important that there are no contaminants so we use tools and uh, a jig just for titanium. Once all the mitering is, is, is complete it will then go to, uh, to the welder who will, who will tack weld everything in place. We tack the frame together so the top and the bottom of the tubes of the frame um, that way it just keeps, keeps those angles together. After we've tacked it, we take it off the jig and then I, I weld it in the, uh, the freestanding mantle. The frame sort of takes about four or five hours to, to weld and uh, there's a lot of pressure. I mean, with, with titanium, you know, most people don't paint it. Um, so the welds are, you know, they're, they're there to be seen. Obviously, the first thing that people look at with a, with a weld is the fishtails. That's what uh, people would generally recognise as a good weld if it's nice and neat. But as um, as a, a frame builder and as a manufacturer, what's very, very important when you weld the frame is the colour of the weld immediately after welding. It has to be clear or it has to be a straw colour. If it's anything other than those colours, then quite possibly it's a bad weld. Next step is to ream and face the head tube to face the bottom bracket and tap out the threads and then to ream the seat tube. The reaming is cutting the internal hole inside the tubes to an exact size so it's ready to accept something like on the head tube so your headset can press straight in. And we do it because they come slightly oversized with excess material so when you weld it, it won't distort so then we cut out the excess material so it's the correct inside size. Well, the next step um, uh, is very crucial. Um, it's the tracking of the frame. Um, obviously, it's extremely important that the frame is in a perfect alignment. We, we've got a, um, a table, an alignment table, uh, where the bottom bracket um, uh, slips in um, to, a, to a cup we've made, um, and then we use a square to, to measure up and down the top tube, the seat tube, and the down tube, uh, to make sure that it's all perfectly level. The, the frame finishing has been done now, as you can see here, it's, um, this has gone for a standard brush finish, um, so we've got the raw material coming through. Titanium is, is one of those materials that, that uh, doesn't need to be painted. Lots to choose from, you've got um, obviously uh, standard vinyl you can put on, um, you've got uh, mirror, mirror polishing, um, which is a nice, uh, it's a popular, popular uh, finish for us, uh, it gives a bling, sort of shiny effect to a frame. And um, you've got bead finishing, it gives that sort of stealthy dark look. Uh, you've then got uh, anodizing and then obviously paint as well. So um, it just needs logos and then uh, built into a bike. <laughs>